Hey guys, I'm Papa Pete, back for another pickup video. And today's pickup video is a very special one. I just got a box from RBK with some Xbox games from my collection. How big of a box? Here it is. That is a box of games. I can't wait to open it. I've been waiting to share it with you, so stick around. I'm about to do it. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. All right, guys. A little while ago, RBK got in touch with me. He found a whole bunch of Xbox games, and he got a list of some of the ones that I had to see which ones he had there that he could send me. And, uh, man, I just can't wait to take a look to see what's in this box. Let's open her up. Holy cow, did he ever do a great job packing them up? That's beautiful. Oh, that's two great, great games right on the top. I'm going to set them down here and pull them out one at a time. All right, first game we got. Battle Racing Ignited Burnout Revenge. Beautiful racing game. Next up. Got the Platinum Hits version of The Incredibles. Really great shape. Nice manual, everything. I look at Burnout, look at that. Beautiful condition. I know some of the games he told me. Some games have manuals, some don't. That's cool. I mean, that's just absolutely awesome. It's fun just trying to find the manuals after the fact to complete your games. Well, what's next? I'm going to sort of reach in just pull one out and take a look. Big Mother Truckers. I always thought that looked really interesting. Uh, gee, I wonder why. Anyway, manual, disc, whole friggin' works. Big mother truckers. What do we got? Hurry. I'm not really looking here, so I'll surprise me too. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2X. Doesn't get any more classic than Tony Hawk. Beautiful condition. Nice friggin' game. Okay, what do I get next? Because a paper under this one. Okay, ready? Here we go. One more. SeaWorld Shamu's Deep Sea Adventure. I, I, I had actually seen that game before uh, just online, but I've never seen a copy of it. That's great. I've been there back with uh, Shamu still. Uh, they still had the killer whale shows. I don't like to have the killer whale shows at all anymore since I've had so many accidents and PETA and cruelty to animals and stuff. For better, for worse, I don't know. It's like, I don't know enough about it to really argue it one way or the other. I did enjoy the shows at the time, but I can certainly understand the issues with having animals in captivity like that. Okay, it's paper under there now, so i got to get the paper out. We'll get some more games. He really wrapped them great. I saw this one when I was taking it off, so we'll go with it next. 2K Sports College Hoops 2K7. I'm not big into the NCAA games, or I wasn't back in the day, because college basketball, especially here in Canada, isn't that much of a big deal. Like, we follow the professional sports, and the colleges in Canada just don't have the same. We've got a lot of Canadian players playing in the NBA, and, of course, hockey. The majority of them are Canadian, but anyway. Still, very interesting titles to have it that big of a, that big of a deal to have college basketball, college football, in a nationally or internationally uh, created sports game. Never really understood it because these guys aren't allowed to make any money, but somebody's making a ton of money from it. I wonder who. I think we all know. Anyway, reach for another one. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. Frankly, it's the only surfing game I could think of off the top of my head. I'd never seen it before. I've never played it. Really looking forward to trying it out. All right, try not to look down cheat here. I want to be surprised right with you guys. And we have Exhibition Volume 2 Demo Disc for Xbox. That's pretty neat. 
Those things are all really neat. Full case, too. Little manual. It's got a manual with it. I'll have to check that out. Can't wait. Reach it in. Pull out another one. SpongeBob SquarePants. Battle for Bikini Bottom. <laughs> That's amazing. I really like SpongeBob. With 64 uh, bit, was a young kid. That was about the heyday for SpongeBob. So we watched it a lot back in the back when he was young his, his sister too and everything i've heard that actually these spongebob games a lot of them are really high quality games they're not uh sort of just created for small kids they actually have some good elements of gameplay in them so it's sad that i can't think of the creator's name he just passed away here a month or two ago it's uh it's a really sad thing that's probably the end of the whole whole series. I don't know if it was still on TV, if they were making new episodes, but you can be rest assured that they're going to keep uh, having, you know, various specials and such. But now they probably won't. It's too bad. All right, and the next game is going to be Dr. Muto. Wow, that looks like it's like a third-person sort of an adventure platformer type game, 3D platformer. Very interesting game. I love the cover. I love the cover art on it. Midway game. Midway is always a good title. It's sort of hit or miss sometimes. I mean, they have some that are just excellent, but they have some real duds too. So you don't really know by Midway, but when you see it, at least you know it's a mainstream game. Press the A button. Doctor Mucho. The A button. All right. Pull another one out. This is a big box of games. That's unbelievable. Friggin' RBK. Thank you so much. Frogger Beyond. Konami game. Like, I love Frogger. Just an expansion of the Frogger game, uh, like an arcade type. This It's more or less a platformer as well. Frogger Beyond. Can't wait to check that one out. Alright, and this time we have... Oh, I love it. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. I love Indiana Jones. I've loved Raiders of the Lost Ark. I still remember going to see it in the theater when I was a young kid. Like, I was probably, what, 14, maybe? I uh, went with my brother-in-law, and uh, we saw it right here at the theater in Cal, Spain. But I can also remember it was sort of funny. I went to see Return of the Jedi when it first came out, and I went to Brewer, Maine, Bangor and Brewer. You pr probably heard of Bangor. Brewer's right across the river. There was a theater on both sides. And that afternoon, we went down to Bangor for the weekend just to go to the movies. And when we went in to see Return of the Jedi, this was playing in the theater next to it. And we'd heard a little bit about it, but all the hype hadn't started yet about how good it was. But we had heard a little bit. So we thought, geez, we got to see that sometime. So we didn't see it then, but we saw it a week or two later when it got to the smaller town where we live. Anyway, neat story. And the Emperor's Tomb. I think the gameplay is LucasArts game. It's third-person action game. I'm sure that uh, it'll be entertaining just to play through the story and the next one Def Jam Fight for New York that's a cool game fighting styles what's this is this the one is it just a straight fighting game wow look at the condition of it the manuals are just like brand new Mature game. Jeff Def Jam Fight for New York. I'm gonna read some up some more on this one. We'll check it out. The back says just hard hitting or hit hard with five fighting styles. Watch your back, crowds into the action. So it's probably in a big group when you're fighting and the environment interacts with you. It sounds like it'd be really neat. Alright. Wow, there's still quite a few more in here. Pull the next one out. Oh, cool. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie. Frankly, I see this everywhere, but I've never picked it up. Uh, I don't remember ever seeing this on the front of it, though. It says free movie ticket inside. That's pretty cool. I like Peter Jackson's version of the movie uh, of King Kong. But frankly, I grew, when I grew up, the first version that I saw was the 1976, I think it is, version with Jeff Bridges and... Dave escapes her right now. That's stupid. I should know it. She's in, uh, she's in uh, American Horror Story. Um, I can't believe I can't remember that name. I'm picturing her. Postman always rings twice. That's bugging me. Jessica Lang. Her name is Jessica Lang for Pete's sakes. So 
The version that I remember is the 1976 version. That's the one that I first saw. I remember going to the to the drive-in to see it. The drive-in of all places. There aren't many of those around anymore. Again, my brother-in-law and my sister took me. I was probably, I don't know, I was 11 or 12. or I, I don't know, remember what year it came out. Uh, but I was pretty young. And I can remember my brother-in-law telling me that they had a special thing during the, uh, the movie that a big giant mechanical ape was going to come out and try to scare everybody during the movie out of the woods um and i believed him because i was young enough to believe him so i was scared trying to watch this movie and uh worried that the king kong was going to come out of the woods and attack our car while we were sitting in the drive-in yep oh well that was the things you believe when you're a kid nope don't want to take a quick look we got midtown madness 3 I don't know much about this game at all. I remember the Midtown Madness. This looks like it's just a racing game where you race through the cities. Microsoft game, right? Yeah, Microsoft Studios. I remember something about this back when, like, when Windows 95 and such came out. They had this Midtown Madness game that used to be on Windows. One of the first games Microsoft made for Windows. It was pretty good if I remember correctly. Anyway, it's listed with Xbox as well, so that's a good hint that it was. And the next one is, turn it around, 007 Nightfire. You can't go wrong with a James Bond game. This is beautiful. Again, just an action first-person shooter. Might be a third person. Or first person, whichever. It's uh, still so nice to have it. Look at the condition. Just mint. RBK, where did you find these games? This is awesome. You don't know how grateful I am. I can't find games like this. If I do happen to find games around this area, they're all beat to crap. So to get something like this, is this, this is this is my Christmas right here. I love it. All right, let's reach in for the next game. It is, oh, Xbox exclusive. Oh, this is where it all started. Forza Motorsport. How many Forza Motorsports have there been over the years? They just keep getting better and better. It's Xbox's answer, Microsoft's answer. Yeah, Microsoft Game Studios. Microsoft answer to the Gran Turismo series. Uh, so many great things about this game. How you make your own, all the different types of cars on the back here. 50 top manufacturers. I'm sure I could waste a lot of time with this game. I'll just love this one. But Oh my God, there's so many games here from RBK. How can I forget... I'm going to have to find time to play all of them. Right on. Forza Motorsport. And in for the next one. Here we go. MX versus ATV Unleashed. Cool. THQ. I like THQ games. I remember they used to do wrestling games that are really like SmackDown games uh, when they first came out. They, did, they were THQ. And 64-bit. Actually, I can remember... When he was a young kid, he asked me for Christmas one one year for one of these uh, MX Unleashed games. I don't know if it was this one. It wasn't this one for the Xbox, I know. It was probably for his PS2 or something like that. But anyway, these are just great ATV and motocross games. That's excellent. Just a lot of fun to throw in and play and uh, kill some time with. But let's go to the next game. Oh, I got more paper. I'll go to the paper. And the next one is Sniper Elite. Sniper Elite. I don't know. Oh, this one feels like no manual in this one. That's all right. I'll find the manual for it. Sniper Elite. I've never heard of that one. Oh, my. Have a, the, the case is just in incredible condition. Absolutely. It's a Namco game. So you know it's going to be good. The sniper, the idea of playing as a sniper as opposed to just run and gun action. I kind of like that idea better. Sort of standoff. I know that I like playing... Uh, other RPGs and such. I like playing uh, Rangers where you have arrows shooting from a distance, trying to pick things off uh, from a distance to be safe as possible. So I would really kind of like that type of game, sniper game, as opposed to a Call of Duty where you're really just running in, barrels flying. But anyway, Sniper Elite. And the next game is... What is it? Ooh, Genma... Onimusha, Capcom game. That's awesome. An action third-person game. Uh, this was big on the PS4. I can remember seeing all kinds, or not PS4, on the, uh, I think it was a PS2 at the time, because I can remember seeing all kinds of commercials for it when that first came out, and 
this game seemed to be on all the commercials. And I, but I did know they did Xbox versions. So Onimusha, I gotta try that out. I got so many games like this, the uh, Oriental Samurai type games. I have quite a few that I have to play. I gotta play some, uh, uh, so many of them. Jade Empire comes to mind right off the top. That's one that I haven't played yet, haven't put the time into yet, but I really want to. Then this one will be right behind it. What an awesome freaking game. And look at that, it is in beautiful condition. Wow. I'm just blown away by the generosity, man. The papers are over them, so I can't see even if I look at the box. I'll just reach to the bottom and pull out a game. Is there still more? Yep. And what's this one? NBA 2002 Inside Drive. Xbox exclusive. Feels like there's probably no, nope, no manual on that one. That's all right. Uh, again, I am not a big basketball fan, but I've always loved playing basketball games right back, starting pretty much with the Genesis. I used to love uh, Bulls versus Lakers, uh, Celtics versus Lakers. What was the other one? It was uh, Blazers versus like Bla no, Bla Bulls versus Blazers or something like that. I had most of them because they're just a lot of fun to play. Oh, and then on the Dreamcast, the NBA games on the Dreamcast were I thought were awesome, and you could create your own your own players and put them into the team. So it was really great. Anyway, NBA Inside Drive, NBA uh, NBA license. Xbox exclusive. Here we go. Reaching in. There's still more. What do we have this time? Oh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. By Konami. What more needs to be said? This is almost like a cell art. Like a cell anime type game it looks like from the back. Oh my god. And look at the condition of it. It's just beautiful. I can't wait to play that. That is so impressive. One or two players. Oh, I'm so happy we've gotten that. I have one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. I don't have this one. And I loved all. I love the turtles. I was a little old when the turtles come on, really, to get into them too much. Like I wasn't a kid with them, but I still could recognize the quality of the of the cartoon that it was when it started. Wow, it's just amazing. Just amazing, the games. There's still more in here. And I'm reaching in to the bottom of the box. Not quite the bottom yet, though. There's still more games down there. WWE, is it E? WWE Raw 2. Listen, I've been a WWF fan, a WWF fan. And then I turned into a WWE fan with... Uh, a little bit of resistance because I can remember when they switched over. I watched the pay-per-view one night. I can't tell you what the pay-per-view is right now. Where they were WWF. They come back on Raw the next night and they were WWE and I was pissed off. Anyway, all because of the World Wildlife Fund in England. They sued them and such. Listen, that was back like 2001 maybe even. It was that long ago. Early 2000s, if not 2000 itself. I've heard that this is a really good wrestling game. Uh, Raw 2. I've played so many different wrestling games over the years. Look at that manual desk. Beautiful shape. When Goldberg was there, which is a real brief run back at the time, I saw them film a Raw and SmackDown in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I think that was actually 2003. So it's probably about the time that this game is set. Stone Cold was there. The Stone Cold Beer Bash that night was there because he had been off for about... Uh, eight weeks due to a suspension because of issues he had had with Deborah, uh, you know, not on air. It was, it was uh, shoot, real issues, shoot issues. And uh, he was back that night. He was allowed to drink because it seems to me he had a court order that he wasn't allowed any alcohol. So when that was up that night that I was there on Raw, he went hog wild. If you ever get a chance to watch the Raw, it's in May 2003. With the Stone Cold Beer Bash, absolutely amazing. And back into the tickle trunk we go again. And here we go. It is Hitman 2. Hitman's a great series. Action, crime. Well, you're a hitman. You're not, you're not fighting crime. You're criminal. And is it first person or third person? Either way, I think there's little aspects of both in it, actually. And... Uh, this particular ca uh, copy is in amazing condition. The Hitman series. I mean, they've made movies out of it. I've not seen the movies. I played a little bit of the first game. Can't wait to try this one out a little bit. 
Okay, let's go back in and see if we can find another one. Oh, I'm caught up on paper. Is there anything more in there? Uh, yes, there is. Here's one right here. From the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, Tail Fang, Fist of the Lotus. Oh my god, I don't know much about this game at all. From the creator of Mortal Kombat, if they're going to promote it like that, it's got to be a fighter. Mature game, Microsoft Game Studios. And I love it when I see that Microsoft exclusive logo on it. Once From again, I said it a couple videos. Vid uh, I said it a couple videos ago. If you have a good list of just the Microsoft Xbox exclusives, please post it. A link to it in the comment section below. I'd love to check it out. I like to start making a checklist myself of just the exclusives. It's awesome. By the time I get this video out, maybe I will have already had it. But somebody can use it, because it's kind of hard to find. Tail Fang, Fist of the Lotus. And the friggin' cover's awesome. Cover is great. Any more in there? Reaching to the bottom. Oh. Oh. Yep. Here we go. This one is, I got the back of it. What is it? Moto GP3. THQ game. Motorcycle racing. Looks like a really fun game. In absolutely great condition. Very interesting to try out. I know I love watching the sport. When they crash, man, that's scary stuff. Anyway, MotoGP3. Awesome. Back in again. Alright. I think there's only two games left. Here is one of them. And we have 2K Sports Major League Baseball 2K7. All right. A couple of videos ago, I had 2K5, and it had Alex Rodriguez on the cover of a Yankees uniform. This one has Derek Jeter in a Yankees uniform. I love baseball. I don't like the New York Yankees. I don't really like Derek Jeter. I'm a Red Sox fan. But I'll say this, and I will say it for the record, you can't argue that he wasn't an amazing ball player. And I've heard great things about this series. I've played a few different ones. Never played this one. Really looking forward to it. All right. Reaching in. I am at the bottom of the box. This is the last game. I was going to say something stupid, like I hope it's a good one. They've all been good ones, so of course it's going to be a good one. And this one is... Incredible UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship tap out. Right on. This is the first UFC game. I love watching UFC fights. I like getting together, together with a bunch of guys and sitting there and watching the fights. It's much more fun that way. I don't usually just sit and get them myself, the pay-per-views, and watch them. But when we have a party or something like that, it's just so much fun to get together and watch the fights. Whoop! this come out. Yeah, didn't seem to hurt it any. It's an absolutely beautiful shape. And the manual is pristine. That's great. UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship tap out. Great thing to add to the collection. Well, guys, that was the last game. I can't get over how friggin' generous RBK was to send these games to me. I'm looking out for stuff for him, too. I haven't had the opportunity to find too much yet. When I know what he... Sends me a list of what he's looking for. Man, I get the opportunity to pick it up. You know it will be coming to him. So, look at the size of... Hold it. What's going on? There's still more. I just found more games standing up on the side of the box. What do I got? It's more games. Look at this. Ultimate Halo Companion DVD set. Includes Halo 2 bonus material. That's friggin' awesome. I don't even know what that was. Look at this. One, two. It's got one of the demo discs. And the manual. And a bunch of coupons for Best Buy. I wonder if they'll still work. Brute Force Hit Book. That is so cool. Ultimate Halo Companion DVD set. Right on. Is there more? There's more. And this one. It's another demo disc. Exhibition demo disc. Uh, is there a number on it? 
Volume. I can't find the volume number on it. No, it doesn't say a volume number on it that I see. Maybe it was like what one of the very first ones. Manual. Disc. Great shape. That's amazing. Check those out. You never really know what's on them. There's still more. Aggressive inline. It's a skateboarding game that I don't remember ever hearing of before. By Acclaim. Acclaim is a very interesting company. They made some great games, but they sort of seem to... They're almost like an LGN. It seems to me that actually LGN became Acclaim. But uh, anyway, I love the cover. Xbox exclusive? No, it is not an Xbox exclusive, but it has Xbox exclusive features with a zoo level and super high-res graphics. You know, the Xbox was the strongest system back in the day. And look at the condition. Great condition manual. Beautiful desk. There can't still be more. Sticking my hand in. One more. This is the last game. What did I say last time? I hope it was a good one. They're all good ones. Yeah, they are. And this one is Nickelodeon Party Blast. Yes, sir. Doesn't get any better than that. Infogrames. Beautiful condition. Just a kid's game. I love the Rugrats. Jimmy Neutron. Again, these are the these are the shows that my kids watch when they're young. So I know all the characters. And uh, the Wild Thornberries used to love that show. I can remember there was a Wild Thornberries movie. And of all the different ones, people might not remember the Wild Thornberries uh, as much as some of the other ones like Spongebob and Rugrats, which are more prominent, Jimmy Neutron even. But that was actually an incredibly good movie. I'd like to watch it again today. I used to watch it so many times with my kids. Uh, but I enjoyed it every time. Anyway, Nickelodeon Party Blast. What a great pickup. Anyway, that is it, guys. That's everything. Look at all the games. I'll count them up later, but I just can't get over it. What generosity of RBK to send these to me. I'm so happy to add these to my collection. It's just absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, man. Anyway, I'm Papa Pete. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today looking at the games that RBK sent me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the